Stop and watch gone. Oh, nobody pawn it. Sudden when you wore it. Now you can't afford it. Oh. Read between the lines and you see I spit a righteous. Oh. Girls kissing girls and they talking about they like this. Some will try to fight this. Some will try to fight this. We imitate all. No wonder this world like this. Some call it Christ. Shalom. This is Mekael from GMS. And, uh,. We're on Wikipedia, and basically we're going to show, you know, whoever wants to learn, you know, that you can actually edit the information on Wikipedia. And, uh, you know, we came across this because I was watching the elders, you know, prophesy, preach, do their thing, and, uh, you know, basically, uh, this prophetess over here, uh, she says... That you can actually edit uh, the information on Wikipedia when they started going across the Wikipedia information. Because, you know, they were into the dictionaries and all that stuff. Urban, the urban dictionary and, you know, seeing how inaccurate some of the information was and some of the bullshit that they put in there. And, uh, you know, then we got to Wikipedia and then, you know, she uh, basically pointed out that... Uh, you can actually edit Wikipedia, and I, I, I didn't know that. So uh, we actually started editing that night, but uh, that leads us to today, and we on Jacob right now. And I, I, I saw a few things that, you know, really weren't that factual. So we're going to get into it and uh, check out Jacob and uh, start editing because I didn't, I didn't like some of the stuff I saw in here. Uh, go to the definition of uh, Wikipedia. Wikipedia. A version of the encyclopedia. Wikipedia. An open content online encyclopedia collaboratively developed over the World Wide Web in a particular language. So, what that means, basically, you know, collaboratively is the key word. Basically, everyone can actually, you know, get on here and edit things that aren't really factual. And, you know, basically change some of the information, add information. And, you know, it's open to everybody. And a lot of people use Wikipedia. So, you know, it's, it's, it's not something to sleep on. You know what I mean? So... We just don't get to editing because we're going to start with Jacob. You know, some small, some light. Nothing too heavy right now. But, you know, a few things that just really aren't factual. You know, because Esau, he likes to, you know, write things, you know, one sided, you know, so to say. You know, everything that he writes, you know what I mean? It's, it's to make him look better so to say, so, let's just get factual, and, you know, match up what they write with the Bible, so starting here, it says on Wikipedia, as far as Jacob and Esau's birth, the prophecy also said that the older would serve the younger, this statement, one people will be stronger than the other, has been taken to mean that the two nations would never gain power simultaneously, when one fell, the other would rise, and vice versa, according to traditional accounts. Rebecca did not share the prophecy with her husband. And, you know, Rebecca, who, it does, that's not biblical as far as her sharing the prophecy with her husband. So we're going to see what uh, Genesis chapter, uh, in the Gateway Bible, the Gateway, King James Version. Not the Gateway Bible. That's the uh, online site that we're using. BibleGateway.com But the King James Version. Genesis chapter 25. Verse 23. It says here. And the Lord said unto her. Two nations are in thy womb. And two manner of people shall be separated from thy vows. And one people shall be stronger than the other people. And the elder shall serve the younger. So... 
that's the Lord prophesying to Rebecca about, you know, her having two nations in her womb. You know, she was pregnant with twins. And uh basically he's telling her that, you know, you have two different manner of people in, in her womb and you know, that's meaning like they're totally different from each other. And uh it said the one people shall be stronger than the other people. And uh that's referring to, you know, Esau, if you know if you actually know who Esau is and who Jacob is, you know, Esau is the white man and Jacob represents the nation of Israel, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. And uh basically one people shall be stronger than the other people really means, you know, physically, you know what I mean, mentally and spiritually, we're stronger than the Edomites, Esau, Esau and his descendants, the Edomites. And, you know, you can look at sports today. We dominate football, basketball. Uh, you know, we're, we started getting into baseball now, you know what I mean? You know, if you're from Philadelphia, you know, Ron Howard. So... You know, what I mean, we we can we can play baseball, but it's just uh, you know, I think more men just rather play basketball or football because it's just more you know glorified in our neighborhoods. But uh, you know, we can dominate anything. We dominate track and field. You know, what I mean, we can run the fastest. We ain't even got to do the long distance because we ain't got to. Who wants to run long distance if you don't have to? So you know, but you know, we run everything, and you know, mentally. You know what I mean? We, we we stuck in the hood. We got to live with the bullshit every day. You know what I mean? Racism on the job. You know what I mean? Racism in school. You know what I mean? Just live in the hood. Motherfuckers living check to check, week to week. So, you know what I mean? Mentally, too. Spiritually, you know what I mean? We, 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 we definitely believe in God. Definitely a, a larger percentage believe in God from our people than their people, you know, and most of their people admit they're atheists. So, uh, you know, that's the Edomites for you. You know, what I mean, only problem with our people is, you know, we believe in God, but we don't know who we are. We the nation of Israel, you know. And, uh, that's the problem with our people, you know. They believe in God, but they don't know what God they're praying to. And that's what, you know, GMS and the rest of the brothers, we trying to wake them up to. So, uh, you know, let's back back to this uh, Wikipedia thing. So we're going to change this. But it says right here... <clears throat> when you go down a little bit further, when the time came for Rebecca to give birth, the first to come out emerged red and hairy all over, with his heel grasped by the hand of the second to come out. Okay, so, you know, they point out, uh, they point out that, uh, the first to come out emerged red and hairy all over. But that's not what the Bible says. Let's see what the Bible says. So Genesis chapter 25, verse 25. It says here, And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. And they called his name Esau. So, it didn't actually say he was hairy. It says, like a hairy garment. He said he came out red, but it said, all over, like a hairy garment. So, you know, what Esau tries to do is say, you know, he was he was hairy. You know what I mean? They try to discard the fact that he was red. You know what I mean? Because they know, you know, when they get mad, you know what I mean? They turn red. You know what I mean? When they... They lying, they turn red, you know what I mean? All all types, when they get burnt by the sun, they turn red. So, uh, you know, you try to discard that, but, 
he tried to say that he was hairy, but you know that's what Esau tries to do. So we're just gonna put the facts back in there. It says here that he was red all over, like a hairy garment. Came out red all over, like a hairy garment. You know what I mean? So the garment was hairy. Not I mean that's and the garment wasn't actually hairy. You know what I mean? That was just the look of it. So. I'm going to fix that. And go down here. I said Esau was filled with hatred towards Jacob for taking away his birthright and his blessing. That's what they wrote on Wikipedia. That's what Esau wrote. So that's true. But let's see what really happened as far as how Jacob actually took his birthright from Esau. Because you got you to gotta watch Esau and what he writes. You know what I mean? You never, you never know how he's trying to twist information if you ain't actually read the facts. So let's see what the Bible says. <clears throat> and this is Genesis 25. Verse 29. And Jacob sighed pottage, and Esau came from the field. <coughs> and Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with the same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore his name called Edom. And Jacob said, Sell me this day thy birthright. And Esau said, Behold, I am at the point to die. And what profit shall this birthright do to me? Mm hmm. And Jacob says, Swear to me this day. And he swore to him. And he sold his birthright unto Jacob. And Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage of lentils. And he did eat and drink. And he rose up and he went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. So that I mean that's clear right there, you know. The scriptures say, you know, that he basically said, I mean, what what profit shall this birthright do to me? You know, I mean, it don't get no clearer than that. I mean, the man sold his birthright, so I don't see what the problem is. Jacob got the birthright just like you he was supposed to because he sold it to him. So uh what we're gonna do is, you know what I mean, yeah, Esau was angry because of the way Jacob got it. Jacob tricked Esau tricked Isaac into thinking that uh well let's see what the scriptures say. Go down to twenty three. No, I'm going to go down to yeah, keep going. So what happened was uh, Isaac, the father of Jacob and Esau, was ready to give away the birthright. And uh, Rebecca overheard Isaac. And uh, when Esau was sent out <coughs> to get some venison for his dad, she, Rebecca... She loved Jacob more, so she uh, told Jacob, you know, dress up like Esau, and, uh, you know, we're going to, uh, so you can get the birthright. And Isaac, you know, he couldn't see at the time, so uh, they, they,
they actually, you know, actually stole the birthright, but they didn't actually steal it because it was actually Jacob's in the first place because Esau had already sold it. We just read that. And this is what Esau says in the scriptures. After he finds out that Jacob stole the birthright and Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father. This is, uh, I'm sorry, Genesis chapter 27, verse 41. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, the days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. So after he sells the birthright and finds out that Jacob had to trick his father into giving it to him, you know, and he finds out, all right, he, he, he just gave my birthright, gave the birthright to Jacob, you know. He actually gets mad after he actually already sold it. So, obviously Esau's a devil, and you you really can't deal with Esau, you know. So that's that's basically what we have to change. You know, we're gonna basically point out that you know even though he already sold the birthright, he was angry. You know, and they don't want to. They don't want to point that out as far as when Esau was writing this Wikipedia, you know, article on Esau <laughs> on itself, you know. But, uh, you know, just fix the, these things, just a few minor things. And, you know, probably make another video if we find some other things. It's a, it's a plenty of things you can fix on here because Esau will just be going off. But, you know, we're just going to start with that for now. So we're about to edit. Click on edit. Show you how to do this real fast. Anybody can do it. It's easy. For the sake of time, I already changed it. So I'm just going to show you what we changed. <laughs> the prophecy also said that the one people shall be stronger than the other people. And the elders will serve the younger. We changed that. When the birth, when the time came for Rebecca to give birth, the first Esau to come out red all over like a hairy garment. We changed that part. Although Esau sold Jacob his own birthright, which was his blessing for red pottage, Esau still hated Jacob for eventually receiving his blessing that his father Isaac unknowingly given to him. So we changed that part. You know, just clear that up. So you want to come down. And that's Genesis twenty-seven forty-one. And uh, <clears throat> you gotta make sure you uh, give a, a reference for you know all these uh, everything you change. So we gave them you know the Bible scriptures as our reference. You know, make sure you have a reference. Without a reference, you can't do it. And uh, after that, just hit save. So as you can see, it's been changed, and that was right. It says, although Esau sold Jacob his own birthright, which was his, which was his blessing for red pottage, Esau still hated Jacob for eventually receiving his blessing that his father Isaac unknowingly given to him. Genesis Chapter 27, verse 41, King James Version. So, 
that's that's basically that's basically it. You know, that's how you edit on Wikipedia. So if you see something that's not factual, fix it. But I ain't saying, you know what I mean, put this before you're studying and all that. You know what I mean? Like, no, nah, I mean, I'm just saying if you just got time and you just happen to come across something, you know what I mean? Why not go ahead and fix it? But, uh, you know, you brother stay strong in the Lord. And uh, keep studying, you know, and praying for, you know, this man's downfall. And all praises to Yahweh Shai, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. So, uh, that's about it. And uh, I'll get back to you on the next video. Shalom.